Hey guys, and welcome back to some more D&D commentary. So we have Lunar here. Yeah, and these people have the same card back and the same profile image. <laughs> nope, nope, nope. One of you got to change. Dark arms limited to one. <laughs> it's just stay limited to one. Fuck you, OCG. <laughs> Dark arm too strong. This doesn't feel like a coincidence. <laughs> I got I got Dark Paladin. I got Dark Paladin. <laughs> So we have uh, Winter Sturm here with 1329 versus Cel Celestial Celestials. I don't know. How do I say that? Celest. Yeah, I think you had it right. Okay, Celestialis. 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 All right, let's go with that with 1085. So yes, Lunar is here. So, wow, blind spacing. <laughs> Yu-Gi-Oh! Mm -hmm. Oh, I mean that's a pretty good oh, card. Oh damn. To uh, well, there's one limited card. Yeah, the others, the other three set are warning, torrential, and bottomless. <laughs> like what the hell, man? <laughs> so yes, yeah, so Luna is here. So uh, just wanted to go ahead and clear something up in case, because I'm not sure what I said in the video. Uh, when it comes to the people who are, you know, when it comes to the people tagging with me on uh, daily duels, the people who don't get selected and won't have a tag series for a while. That doesn't mean they'll never be on my channel. They can still join me for DM Duel commentary, vitamin Y, what have it. So, yeah, don't think that they're just disappeared from my channel. Mm -hmm. cause they're my, they're still my friends. <laughs> That's why I left it up to you guys to decide because I can't kick off any of my friends. Ooh, <laughs> all that MSG. None of that. None of that. Are you guys having fun? Look at this duel. Yeah, man, it's riveting. <laughs> So I'm guessing, yep, I was say, oh. I'm guessing uh, Supply Squad, Burning Abyss, it's the only deck that I know. Damn! He got the warning. It's the only deck that I know that plays uh, Supply Squad, Burning yeah. Abyss. I don't like Supply Squad, or Supply Unit. I do. I hate that it messes with your opponent psychologically. It pretty much makes you break rule number one of Yu-Gi-Oh! What's that? Never let your opponent draw. <laughs> Rule number two of Yu-Gi-Oh! Never let your opponent draw! <laughs> Alright, that's why Dark Bribe sucks ass. Especially with, the wire Would a card be bad if it said both players draw two cards? Would it still... Because, I mean, the OTK, yes. the OTK potential is great with that, but... Depends, if, on if you how you, it depends on how you use it, who you're going against, but it's not the healthiest of cards. Oh, they're both using Burning Abyss. Of course, of course everybody's using the top deck of the format. Well, you know, same card back, same deck, image, same probably image. Probably the same deck. <laughs> they're yeah. probably sitting right next to each other. <laughs> yeah. They're probably the same person. <laughs> yeah, you never know. Maybe he's playtesting with himself. Okay, think. The problem with a card that exists where you'd activate it and both you and your opponent would draw two cards. The problem with that is that you would be uh, plus one while they would be plus two. Uh -huh. If it was like you draw three cards, your opponent draws two. Yeah. But still, that card would be banned, so. <laughs> yeah. Drawing and, you and, and resources is some of the most powerful things you can do in Yu-Gi-Oh! Mm -hmm. Life points don't mean shit. Are you subscribed to uh, Sima? To who now? Sima? No, I'm subscribed to no one. No okay. Of YouTube nature. Okay. Actually, kind of, I'm a little bit ticked off at him right now. So, you know, I talked about how I met up with him at college and we were talking, and I brought up the, the point that life points don't mean shit. And that it's all about resources, about how we play cards like Solemn Warning and Soul Charge and Space Time and A Hero Lives, just because, you know, it's all about resources. And then I was like, you know, we should do like a collab video and we should, uh, you know, talk about it and discuss it. And he was like, no, 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 I'm going to leave that to you. Like, okay. And then guess what? He turns around and uploads a video talking about the exact topic. <laughs> Doesn't it doesn't really give me any credit. He kind of just mentions me in the video, but doesn't give me any credit. Doesn't well, even doesn't even put my link in the description or anything. <sighs> like wow, thanks. 
scumbag. <laughs> like, really? Like, I came up with the topic. And then what, as soon as I came up with that topic, there was, like, perfect evidence because he was uh, dueling at the college. Uh-huh. His opponent got him down to 100 life points, and he had, and his opponent had 8,000, and he turned that entire duel around. Damn. Because in Nukio, does it, it doesn't matter if your life points are at 8,000 or 100. A win is a win. <laughs> and uh, life, so point, life points are play, just expendable. Play Ukazi. <laughs> Damn, this duel is stupid. <laughs> And yeah, it's just back row, back row, back row. Not back. very entertaining. Seriously, like, can I get some Dante up in this bitch? Can I get some anything up in this bitch? They're just sitting here <sighs> playing with themselves. I do think Burning Abyss so is lame. the strongest deck of the format right now. Burning the best are strongest and will only get stronger. Yep, I saw that coming. <laughs> There's vanities. We're just seeing the same plays that we would usually be seeing. Just, just take your tour guide, ram into his tour guide, and hit him for a thousand. Why the fuck <laughs> not? It doesn't matter. Just come on. <laughs> You know he's gonna have that van. He spent all that time flipping up them uh, damn MSTs and blind spacing. That now you only what you only have mm. one MST left in your deck. Yeah. And before he has it. Yeah. In that case, what would he need to think about? Yeah. Just throw it at the other guy. <laughs> yep. He's looking at that extra deck, he's like, I'm gonna see something, fuck your vanity. <laughs> That's trap stun face down. <laughs> That'd be a pretty good play if it is. Nope, alright. <gasps> he got rid of the seventh one? Not you mean Astro one, Force? Astro Force. I thought about that. So he's gonna draw right into that. That's why the card is so good, like, you know exactly what your opponent's gonna draw into. Alright, so, Drew Guide will go ahead and touch. But you know what's, you know, despite this deck being the top deck, well, there's Toronto. Hmm. You should have known that, huh? The only one we haven't seen is what, Bottomless? Mm hmm. Oh, uh, the warning was from this side, I believe, from okay. Celestialis. So despite this deck being the top deck, in my opinion, you know, some people think maybe it's a Telus, some people think it's Shadals, I don't think so. I think it's this deck. It's that, you know, sometimes it's really hard to point the fingers at what the problem card is, like with Dragon Rulers or Infernities, you're kind of like, uh, this card, this card, no, this card. Uh -huh. This deck, that's easy as fuck to determine who the broke card and who should get hit, huh? Which one? It's Tour Guide. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Without, with... If two guy ever got hit to like down to one, this deck would be done. Like this deck is sucking on Tour God's breast assist, and she doesn't have much of breast assist. <laughs> she's kind of flat chested as hell. Huh? I don't look at the card. Right? <laughs> I guess I don't know. Is she supposed to be a little girl or a grown woman? I'm not sure. I think she's actually supposed to be a grown woman, and she's just really flat chested. How are you gonna get the job as a guide if you're a child? I don't know. What am I uh -huh. talking about? <laughs> You see, Tour Guide really hasn't been able to get off its effect. Dante, no Dante's or something, and this duel has slowed down to a screeching halt because no one's so, able to do shit. What do you think the route they would go down if Tour Guide got hit? I think they would just run tons of draw power so they could just special summon them all from their hand and then do shenanigans with them. Well, hopefully at that point, Soul Charge would be banned. Uh, Tour Guide at one, depending on how Mathematician gets hit. If Mathematician gets hit, he should get hit. <laughs> yeah. Manatees. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Mathematician's still on my list. The only reason why I didn't predict in this list is because it's a little bit too early, but next one, uh, he's pretty gonna, he's gonna be a very powerful card. He's already a very powerful card. He's been a powerful card. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there's Dark Core. Just, oh, there's Daddy. I 
I mean, if they want to run a whole bunch of draw power like that, but it still won't be as effective as just having a tour guide. Having three tour guides. Uh-huh. You thought that once Sangan was banned, tour guide wasn't going to be able to do shit, and this deck comes out and it just says scream, it just screams, like, put in tour guide now. Like, I didn't think Mega Capital G would be right about, you know, Tour Guide being broken again, but yeah, she's broken again. One of the most powerful things you can do in all of Yu-Gi-Oh! And she does it to a T. Summoning from the deck. You know, just, to, just think, if everybody had a card like that, well, kind of, I mean, Summoner Monk, but, you know, you have to, what? Zero out with Summoner Monk. Tour uh -huh. Guide's just straight plus. You have one Tour Guide, you summon, you now have two monsters on the field. She's just straight plus. She's just so good. So good. Yeah. This is the first extra deck card we've seen, which is sad. I know. With all the background. They're starting to burn out of resources because they're yep. going to be dueling each other wisely. <sighs> Destruction is bad. Just wanted to state that to everybody watching this video. Destruction's bad. Don't. Don't. Trantle's not good. Dark Hole's not good. Not even Bottomless is good this format. That's really surprising because, you know, usually we love Bottomless, but that's not even good. Just think about it. Who are you going to Who are you gonna use Bottomless on in the top three decks? Oh, and one's over. <laughs> oh. oh. Yeah, I think I can actually cut it. It might be a short video, but hey, I'm lazy. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, we'll see you guys tomorrow with another DM Duel commentary uh, round tour two of this duel. Thanks for watching.